Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to add clips to the timeline in Premiere Pro. So uh, I have already imported my media clips. I can see them here inside of the project panel. Right now I'm in list view, but if I want I can switch over to icon view. Now I can see my clips visually, which is uh, very nice. And also if I want to sort them alphabetically, I have to click on this little button here. This is called the sort icons button and then I can sort them by name, like that. Now they are alphabetical, which is nice. And adding clips to the timeline is actually very simple. It's even showing us a message. Drop media here to create sequence. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my first clip and I'm going to drag it into the timeline and drop it there. And there it is. You can see it as a little blue rectangle. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to add a couple more in the same manner. So I'm going to go to my uh, next clip, clip 2, and I'm going to drag that into the timeline. Now before I do this, it's always a good idea to make sure that snapping is turned on. At the top of the timeline there's like a little magnet. That should be blue, meaning that the two clips will like snap together when you put them close to each other. I'll show you with the third clip. I'm going to drag another clip now, clip 3, and then when I put it right after clip 2, they should snap together like that. Uh, now at the bottom of the timeline is a scroll bar, so I can scroll to the left and to the right. And at the edges of the scroll bar are two little circles. Those are called zoom handles. And I can zoom in and out of the timeline by dragging those little circles. So that's what I'm going to do. Now I can see my three clips here. Uh, one thing I like to do in the timeline to make it a little bit more user-friendly is we have three uh, video tracks, V123, three audio tracks, A123, and at the very beginning of V1 there's some empty space. I'm going to double click that empty space, and that will increase the track height, and now I can see my clips visually, so that's nice. A1, same thing, I'm going to double click the empty space, don't click on a button, double click the empty space, and now I can see my audio much more easily as well. Now when I did this, um, I actually added the entire clip to the timeline. So they're in the range of 10 to 15 seconds, which means that they're not very long. But let's say you had like a one minute clip or five minute clips or even 10 minute clips. Maybe you don't want to add the entire thing to the timeline because then you have to clean it all up. So I'll show you another technique. I'm going to go to the project panel and double click on a clip here. And I'm going to go to the beginning of it. Here's the playhead. I'm just going to move the playhead to the beginning and play it. And what I'd like to do is to select a specific portion of this clip before I add it to the timeline, because most of it, uh, there's nothing happening. So I'm going to move to the playhead to where the action begins, right around here. Then I'm going to mark in. You can use keyboard shortcut I for that. And then I'll play the clip until he's off screen. And then I might even drag my playhead around a little bit find the exact point in time where I want to mark out. Mark out means mark the end of it. Keyboard shortcut O for out. Now I have marked a specific portion of the clip where most of the interesting action is. I don't need the whole clip. I just need part of it. Now I can drag this down into the timeline and it will snap. And I'll do this one more time, but I'll do it quickly. So I'm going to find where the action is. I'm going to mark in, and then once the action is over, I'm going to mark out. This time I use keyboard shortcuts. Then I drag everything uh, into the timeline. So now I have uh, multiple clips inside of the timeline, but I need to clean things up. For example, clip one is like way too long. It's like 15 seconds long. I only need like a few seconds of it. So I could use the selection tool. So I'm going to take the selection tool. You can drag the edges of the clip like that and you're looking for the red arrow. If I move my mouse to the edge of the clip I get a red arrow. Then I can click and drag to trim the clip. And then I can right click the gaps to do a ripple delete like that. Um, and so that's called trimming a clip you drag the edges with the selection tool. Um, you are left with the gaps and you can delete the gaps and I'll show you a slightly faster way of doing it. It's called the ripple edit tool. So this is, if I click and hold down the third tool from the top, 
you have a whole suite of tools. I'm going to choose the ripple edit tool and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to drag the edges of the clip. So I'm playing through this clip right here. And so I'm trying to find where the action really begins. I would say right around here. Then I would move to the beginning of the clip until I see the arrow. This time it's yellow. Then I drag to trim the clip and it automatically closes the gap. And then I find out where the action ends like that. Then I go to the end of the clip until I see the arrow. Click and drag and it trims the end of the clip and it also removes the gap automatically. So that's why the ripple edit tool can save you a lot of time. And I'll show you a ripple edit using keyboard shortcuts. And this is actually one of my favorite ways of editing. What I do is I'm trimming the third clip now and I want to trim the beginning of the clip because I don't need it. So I'm going to hit Q on my keyboard that will ripple trim and close the gap with one keystroke. And then once the shot is over, once the action is done, I'm going to find the exact moment in time. I wish to ripple trim the end of the clip, keyboard shortcut W. Now those are not super intuitive, um, but if you look on your keyboard, Q and W are typically right next to each other. So that should help you remember. Q will ripple trim the beginning of the clip. W will ripple trim the end of the clip. So I'm going to show you one more thing. We are going to insert a clip now. You already know that you can drag a clip to the end of the timeline, but what if you want to insert something to the middle of the timeline? You can't just drag it. So now I'm going to open up a clip. I'm going to mark just a few seconds of it with an in and an out like that. Then down in the timeline, I'm going to use the up and the down arrow keys to jump from clip to clip. It's also basically jumping from edit point to edit point, which means the point right between two clips. And then uh, once I'm there, and I'll zoom in so you can see this, so this is clip four and clip five, I'm going to click on the insert button right here, and this will insert this clip between the other two clips. So the trick is the up and down arrow keys, and then the insert button. So hopefully that will be enough to get you started with your own edit. And there's uh, much more to learn about the timeline. You know, Premiere Pro is a very complicated program, but hopefully I gave you a helpful overview. Uh, you know, let me know in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.